Good morning, children, y'all. Welcome to Sunday School. I hope you had a lovely week. The topic of our lesson this morning is God said no. 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 Before we go into this lesson, let's pray. Bow down your head and close your eyes. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, we thank you for all that you have done for us through the week and into another week. May your name be praised. Holy Spirit, come and teach us this lesson. Let help us to apply this lesson in our daily lives. Bless our mommies, bless our daddies, bless our friends, bless our teachers. At the end of it all, we want to reign with you in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Our memory verse taken by Blessed. My grace is sufficient for the Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. Open your Bibles and read along with us. We are going to read from the book of Matthew chapter 26 verses 36 to 46 but we are not going to read all we are going to take about three verses there 37 verse 38 and 39 please read along with us thank you Matthew chapter 26 verses 36 38 and 39. 36. Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, Gethsemane and saith unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. 38. Then saith he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. 39. And he went a, a little farther and fell on his face and prayed saying O oh my father if it be possible let this cup pass for me nevertheless not as i will but as thou wilt thank you we're read thank you from our storybook we take home i'm sure you all you all read it you know with mommy and daddy they supported you reading it last week we were taught about the traffic light and how we can apply this traffic light to our spiritual life. Now children, we know from our booklet we read about David has been praying to go on fishing with Sam and Sam father, Sam's dad. He prayed, he didn't hear nothing, no answer. As he saw the dad, he ran to the dad. He told the dad what happened, what he has been praying, what was bothering him. As David was talking to the father, discussing with the dad, an accident just happened. What was the cause of the accident? A driver went across the red light. He had a collision, had the accident with another car. It was very bad. 
the father said, well, you see this, what has just happened? Maybe God was trying to stop this driver. He didn't listen. He went across. David and the dad, they were discussing about that accident and the damage that went, that happened to the car. David's dad got home with David, still discussing about it. In their heart, they knew. The dad said that accident wouldn't have happened if the driver obey the traffic light. So it's very important we obey. Because God must have been talking to, can use anything to speak to us. It's good to listen. Now children, let's apply what happened with this accident passing with all this disobedience going on with this driver with the traffic light to our lesson to our reading from our reading from the bible jesus knew he was going to die As he, he went to Gats, a place called Gethsemane, a garden called Gethsemane, with, with his disciple Peter, with the two sons of De, uh, Zebedee. Jesus went there to pray. As he prayed, he said, Father, he was praying to he prayed to his father. Say, Father, if it is possible, take this cup, this suffering away from him. But if not, let that will be done. Because God, Jesus know his father we support him, we follow him to the end. We don't always understand when God say no. But from this our lesson, from the passage we have read, from the story, from our booklet about David, we cannot say, when God say no, he has a reason. He has a reason. God so love us. You see, Jesus obey God, his father, when he said no. Is good as children of God obey at all time. Be mommy, be daddy, obey your teachers because they know what is right for you. When you come to church, when teachers talk to you, the ushers, your senior. Listen, they know. Jesus, obey. Let us have that spirit in us. Remember, that their mommy loves us. Let us obey. Our key statement 
die leidt aan samen. Because Jesus is the perfect one to give of God. Our God, Jesus, we give you the perfect answer. We have homework for next week. From ages 2 to 5. You see the dotted one here? Please just color it, fill it in, and you come out with one word. From ages 6 to 8. Just match the, to the right answer. Clock, you see all these ones? Match it to the right answer. We'll now come to the end of our lesson. And for next week is lesson 14D. Alice's Cry Baby. God will bless you, children. God bless you. See you soon. Good morning, boys and girls. You're welcome to the answer class today. I believe you enjoyed your week. God bless you for tuning in. Today, the title of our lesson is Chapter 7, The Antichrist. And our memory verse will be recited by Zara. Revelation chapter 13, verse 8. All that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Those names are not written in the book of life, for the Lamb slain for the foundation of the world. We're going to also have Elizabeth and Kingsford read the text for our lesson today. We have our text, Revelation 13, 1 to 18, Revelation 14, 9 to 11. But they are going to read Revelation 13, 1, 2 and 9, then 14, 9 to 11. Revelation 13, verse 1, 2 and 9, verse 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. 2. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and great authority. 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Galatians chapter 14, 9 to 11. 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of indignation, and he shall be tormented for fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angel in the presence of the Lamb. 11. And the smoke of his torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night. Who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Thank you, Elizabeth, Zara, and Kingsford for that wonderful reading. God bless you. Answer so class, boys and girls, the series of our lesson this time has centered on time is running out. And we remember all the prophecies that we learnt about and that God's word is true, that whatever God says will surely come to pass. All that we learnt about the children of Israel, all that we learnt about the wars and rumors of wars, and also the issues in the world, pandemic, so many things that the Bible prophesied will come to pass, they have all come to pass. And we are just waiting for just one thing, which we learnt two weeks ago. I know you remember the rapture and after the rapture the bible tells us of other things that will happen that is where we just read the last week was the marriage supper and during the marriage supper something else will be happening 
down here on earth for those who miss the rapture. And that is the great tribulation. The world will be in great trouble and tumult. And someone will appear who is called the Antichrist to promise peace and stability in the world. But that will be a deceit to trap people into receiving a mark called 666. That is the mark of the beast. And in our lesson we will see, anyone who receives the mark will be doomed forever. But we want to learn from this lesson that God will help us to prepare to meet or to be worthy to be part of those that will be raptured so that we won't see the Antichrist. Now, before we go into the lesson, can you think about the meaning of anti? What, when we talk about anti, what do we mean? We're talking about something that is opposed, opposing the good, anti against. So when we say Antichrist, we're talking about someone who opposes Christ, who is the opposite of Christ, who is against Christ. And this is the devil coming in the person of the beast to manifest powers and deceive the inhabitant of the earth during the great tribulation. Let's watch a little clip to see what and what will happen before we narrate the story that our friend Jeff told us in our lesson story. What a great mistake! I it. Good afternoon. Here is the world news in brief. Yesterday afternoon, the United Nations Security Council met in an emergency session and formed a new organization which embraces every country in the whole world. This organization, according to the Secretary General of the United Nations, shall be called United Nations Emergency World Government. He further explains that it is a one world government designed to work for the security and welfare of every country in the world and the government of every nation is bound to cooperate with the United Nations procedure. For the benefit of security of everyone, the Federal Ministry of Domestic Affairs ordered that every adult, male and female, should report at the next morning at the nearest United Nations World Identification Center which is situated nearest the police stations. Then our government declared that in the near interest of the world security, all people who may not be willing to be at the identification mark of unity shall be subject to arrest and prolonged inconveniences and torment. That was exactly how Zeth felt. He was so terrified. He has never been this terrified before. His parents, and brother have all gone at the rapture and he was left alone day in day out his fears increased when he turns on the television all the news that will be on the telly were the news of the event after the rapture commotion confusion people were filled with fear and suddenly what he heard was a news of a new world leader this leader came with amazing powers and had the influence of persuading people to believe that he was the leader the savior of the world as a death his words were so clever and brilliant that people believed that he has the solution to the commotion that was in the world. He promised peace and stability. He exhibited powers. These powers were gotten from the devil. Remember, he's the Antichrist, the embodiment of the devil. And so, the announcement went that everyone should go 
and get the mark of the beast. 666. Zeth was in despair. He didn't know what to do. But after a while, he decided to go and get the mark. And immediately he got the mark. He was doomed. He became part of the Antichrist. Those that will get the mark, the Bible tells us that these are those that their names are not written in the book of life. Sometimes people will think that I'll be able to stay and endure the punishment and the suffering without taking the mark. But it is not easy. What we pray for is that God will help us to meet the rapture. Let's answer some questions so that we can understand the lesson and what will happen during this time of the Antichrist. What will be the state of the person who takes the mark of the Antichrist? Revelation 14 verse 9 And the third angel followed them, saying on, with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, turn, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and bring stone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of his of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they shall have no rest day and night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. So 666 is the mark of the name of the Antichrist. And anyone that misses the rapture and takes the mark is doomed forever to suffer in the furnace that burneth forever. That will not be our portion. What can we do to escape the tribulation in time of the Antichrist and the mark of the beast? What do we do? Having known all that will happen, if we miss the rapture, and will be forced to take the mark, what do we do to escape this time? The Bible tells us that whosoever confesseth his sins and forsaketh them shall have mercy. We need to repent from our sins. Whatever thing we have done wrong that we know, we need to confess them to Jesus and ask him to forgive us and save us from all our sins. When we are saved and we remain saved, we will escape because certainly we will be raptured and we will not be honored to have the trouble or to partake in the trouble during the tribulation. The beast, Antichrist, is going to be healed to do many wonderful works and signs. Where will he get his powers? If we read what will happen, the beast will have a serious mark on his head, but power will be given to the Antichrist to heal. The wound will be healed. The question is asking us, where do you think he will have the power to heal this terrible wound of his? The Bible tells us his power will come from the devil, Satan. The Antichrist is the embodiment of the devil, Satan. Just like Jesus Christ is the embodiment of God, her, the God, the Father. That is how the Antichrist will come in the power of the devil, the, the beast. And all the powers he will declare and promise people will be the power of the devil. And we don't want to be there. It is a terrible time. I don't want to be there and I know you do not want to be there. 
and we want to pray that God will help us to get ready and partake in the marriage supper of the Lamb after the rapture rather than being here. Will you give God a chance in your life today for him to make you ready? Just by praying and accepting Jesus into your heart, you'll be saved. God bless you. The activity for our lesson 111 is, do I want to be there? You will need a mirror to read the instruction and there are words that you need to find from the puzzle. Our lesson for next week will be chapter 8, the tribulation plagues. And the memory verse will be taken from Matthew 24, verse 2. Thank you very much for listening to this lesson. And may God bless us all. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for this privilege to remind us of things that will shortly come to pass. Father, please, we don't want to miss the rapture. We don't want to take the mark of the Antichrist. We don't want to be here when the great tribulation will emerge. Father, help us, save us today, and keep those of us that have been saved already. Prepare all of us to see you in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, and have a nice day. Bye.